case that I'm going to attempt to tame a spino. And I do it with these dinosaur gates. I make a little V formation. And I stick a bear trap around here. Now this is the bit that I find really makes life a lot easier. Is that there's marker traps down. Because the higher level spino you have, the more torpor you have to get. So, I have dinosaur gate set on the back there. Make sure my doggies are set on the passive. Awkward when they're not. So, let's go for passive. 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 And I'm going to grab one with a fair amount of health. So, 40. Don't really need to do this. I've actually done it on foot, but for the fun of it, I'm going to do it like this. So, shoot him. Oh, and now hope for the best, really. This could end terribly well. Run through the side, into here. Ooh, he didn't go very well. Come on. Come on, come a bit further up. A bit further up, keep going. Come on. Now, you hear that click? That's the important bit. So, uh, a bit frustrated. Now, it's kind of hope for the best. Alright, uh, you're setting off those. Come up here. Now, hopefully, he can't get out of there. That's looking good. Now, the handy bit is. He's had at least one of those torps. So, this should be quite full. I found it's a fairly successful way of taming at least level 90 ones. It'll work with higher ones. I would probably just use my tool. Nice headshots, you'll notice that. I don't have to keep clicking, I can just hold the fire button down. Hopefully I won't kill him. It's always embarrassing when you kill somebody by accident. So I want it to be my pet, really. Oh, come on. 24 left. It's taught that I must be shooting up by now. I mean, that's the whole idea. Oh, and he's down. Brilliant. Now, this is the fun bit. Is keeping him down. And the best way to do that, I found, is was a combination of narco berries. So I've got some narco berries. I could have been better prepped for this. I'm just going to stick some in me. Actually, I'm, I'm going to let him just starve for a bit. Because if I starve, I can just put in some nice delights. The main thing is keeping him unconscious. I'm a bit encumbered. So. What I find was their torpor goes down so fast is to put lots of narco berries in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed him 50. And while he's getting hungry, I'm going to go and look out for some tasties. So I've got three doggies. Uh, I'm going to set them on neutral. I was a bit nervous when I go out of the hunt, so I like to check. Yeah, neutral, there you go. And let's hope, let's really hope that we can find some mutton. I'm not going to bother with him. Ah, come on. Why are you not following me? Always check that your doggies are following you. Sometimes they're not. 
I get a bit distracted by life. It's hard being a dog. So many distractions around. Now, ideally what I'm after is some yummies, and the best yummies for these guys is mutton. Come on, what are you doing? Are you there? Yeah, follow me. Used to be distracted by life. Good for a quick run. Don't always find this best spot, but I don't want to head up the other way because I keep accidentally running into a basilisk and we eat my poor little guys. Uh, it would be amazing if I found some mutton. I mean, it's not that big a deal that you find it straight away. I found that not many things normally attack my guy while he's laying on the floor. It's a bit of a risk. Sometimes I park a few other tames nearby. Oh, I've gone quite far now looking for or mutton, but sometimes it's part of the process. Stamina's getting a bit low. Sometimes I find it helps by going quite far away. You get a respawn in your area. I don't want to go too far, mate. I don't want to get myself killed. Get my stamina up. Get my guys. Oh, got one last little bit of bed. And there you go, it's paid off. We've found ourselves. So it's dinner time. Go on, let's go get our dinner. They're going to eat well tonight, but as you'll notice, I'm not going to eat well because I don't eat lamb. I'm a mushroom, a cut flower vegetarian. I like to get the mushrooms. Very healthy, I found. And make sure they're following. Yeah, they're following. Now, issue being with this is that he's not going to be able to eat all the raw mutton before it goes off, so if you've got an industrial grill you can get at least half of it up pretty quick, otherwise you need a few campfires, it's not a big deal, but time consuming and annoying, and I will show you that process in a minute. Still following me, get it boys. Try not to get myself eaten. You know what? I went that way. I didn't see any. So let's go down this way. Sometimes I kind of just like to have a look to see if there's a stray Avis running around. Also it allows me to scope out if there's any hungry predators that might eat my great big stego. Oh, not stego. Spine. You do get things confused whenever something begins with the same letter. Right now, I'm hopefully going to get back here and he has not been eaten. Oop, lucky. The sun. We're going to have a deal with it. Eat them, eat them, eat them. You know what, that's kind of hilarious that I've gone all this way. And we might as well get that as well. I went all that way to find one. And it, this tends to be what happens. I'm not sure if it's the game being nice, but it's going to respawn them right by me. And I've got to be careful because he's quite bad. He took a pounding. As you'll see, his torp's going right down, so feed some narco berries now. I did see on another tutorial online that it's actually more effective using narco berries than narcotics and I really find this is the case because while he's eating the narco berries he... wow that's a lot man this is going to be one well fed spino oh good boy you hungry? you need a little bite to eat so let's put it in. Oh, that one went quick. Oh, that one went quick. 
Oh, ah, now he's full. And there's no point in star taming him here because I'm not putting any kibble in. 7.9, just like that. Bang. Wasn't hard, was it? But that's kind of the factor that you have to figure out here because 7.9. Um, took about all the time it took me to find to find those two. Now I'll just show you how successful this technique's been for me before I stop this video for now because literally all I have to do is put narco berries in him. Some of that mutton I'd cook up on fires and then put that back in as cooked mutton. And just keep repeating that and keep him safe. Um, I've cleared the area out mostly, so I don't really need to vent them. It could be good. Oh look, an over. It's pretty much seems to be on this map. Whenever I'm taming a spino, I walk out of the area and come back, and an over has spawned. And I'm not going to eat that poor little over now. I'm hungry, what eat more mushrooms? Because. He, my spino won't eat it fast enough and unfortunately in this heat it will just go off so that's my flying scorpion uh, it's a secret how I got him to fly but it's pretty awesome see how many of you got a flying scorpion well I do uh, but these are some stego or spinos uh, you see I've got a bit of a problem there that I did with this earlier now uh, a couple of low ones I practiced on and it's worth having a practice but um, that's a, was I think a level 90 he came out. Now, another thing, I'm not so sure always about going for high level ones. If you've got the time, I kind of like to go for low level ones and, and just let them sort of like level up over time because I can choose where to put stuff. So, the melee damage here, I can feed up. Yay. Now, issue being with this spino is I haven't chosen what's what. So even though he is level 139, he doesn't have much more health. He's got a lot more melee damage, but that's it. But so that's the same there. Anyway, I'm not going to wait for him to finish taming. I'll just show you how much he's gone up to on the tame counter now before I leave. Let's have a quick look. He was at 7.9. He may not have gone up a bar yet. Because the bigger food you feed him. Oh, 11.8. So, as you can see, it's going to take a bit of time. And just give him some narco berries. Give him 50. That's where it's worth having a stego nearby because you can harvest narco berries faster than he can eat them. Oh, just leap through that process. And before you know it, you will have yourself a spino. Hopefully that's... Oh look, and there's the Ovis again. That's the snack for later if he runs out of food or I forget to cook. Anyway, enjoy, and that's how you can easily tame yourself a spiny.